All right, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so we have pizza. Now we need some wine. So we are going to check in now with Jen from Vino Mobile Bar. We got this working, girl. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. Hey, Amber, happy Wine Down Wednesday. I yes, ma'am. Technical difficulties, we all deserve a bottle on that one. So it's all good. <laughs> all good. Well, today is National Pizza Day, which is fabulous. And what better way to celebrate than pairing that with some wine? Yes, I think so too. Okay, let's talk pairings because I do wonder, is there a certain wine that goes better with, because we're talking toppings on a pizza for our question of the day. So what kind of wine slash pizza knowledge can you give us this morning? Absolutely. So I reached out to two of my fellow female entrepreneurs, uh, Courtney and Kimmy. So I'm representing Pearl Street Pizzeria and Pub. They nice. And I have Jan's, uh, which is in uh, Westfield as well, too. So they both gave me two different types of pizzas. Now, you have some white drinkers and you have some red drinkers. So I thought, well, let's play off of that. So we've got here the veggie pizza and also a pear and gonzola pizza. So it's kind of a fun, lighter type of pizza. It's not really heavy. Okay. It doesn't have that heavy of ingredients. You know, you could go Blanco, no red sauce, you know, whatever you wanted to do with that. But with that, we're going to stay with the traditional, you know, white wine here. So you could do a Pinot Grigio. You could do a, a Savon Blanc. Now, for my keto friends, that's what you're going to be trending towards right now, Those the weight conscious people right now. But also, these fun little rosé cans are still in oh, style, so yeah. you could also one of those as okay. well. I like now that the, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it's something yeah, different. You have options, which is good. Exactly, exactly. And these are great because you can just put them in a backpack and off you go. It's easier than sometimes a bottle of wine. Right, exactly. Okay, what's next, Jen? I see another couple slices uh, of pizza. Absolutely. The other side of the spectrum is more of our meatier friends here who really want to get in there, get those proteins and whatnot. So just like when you eat a traditional steak, you want to cut down that protein with a red or a heavier wine. So you can go with a, a Pinot, or excuse me, a Pinot Noir or a Cab, even something heavier, maybe even a Malbec. Or why not get wild and crazy and try it with a cider? Oh, I like that too. Again, something yeah. different. Very nice. Okay, so when you typically... Uh, get your slice of pizza. First of all, what do you like on your pizza? Are you a, a works kind of gal? Are you just pepperoni? What do you like? Ham and pineapple. Ham and pineapple. Oh, George, do with, you hear that? With barbecue sauce. With barbecue sauce. With barbecue oh, you got, you got some people shaking their heads no in here, Jen. They said that's not going to be okay. That's not going to work. <laughs> okay. I, I, I got it from my dad many, many years ago. Yes. Well, now I'm curious. <laughs> if you have that plus the barbecue sauce, what would you pair with that wine-wise? I'm going to do a traditional Chardonnay. A traditional Chardonnay. You can't go wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Good Absolutely. stuff, Jen. It is so good to see you. Thank you so much for helping us celebrate National Pizza Day with a nice glass of wine. We thank you so much. It's so good to see you. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Now I need a glass of wine. To yeah,